It looks like this is a job for a blacksmith, so let's head up to the shop and see what we can come up with. Well, it looks like we need to make ourselves a pizza cutter if we want to cut that pizza. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge. I scrounged around outside. I was able to find some leaf spring to make our pizza cutter out of, and I have a piece cut that is three eighths of an inch by two and a half by eight inches long, or that's roughly 10 millimeters by 70 millimeters by 210 millimeters long. And we are going to start this by fullering in close to the end and then in the middle and do that on both sides so that we have a tang sticking up on both sides of the pizza cutter. I have flat die set up in the power hammer. I'm probably going to do most of this under the power hammer because it's a fairly big piece of steel to draw out the way I want it to. Certainly you could do it by hand, especially if you have a friend to come over and swing a sledgehammer. I want to avoid any cold shots where the working edge is, so I've just worked this corner back here, and that leaves a smoother transition, so when I draw this out, I won't get a cold shut there. But I'm not doing as good a job here, and I don't want to force this sharp spot in and make a cold shut, so I'm going to grind this off before I go any further. I've gone ahead and ground that little spot off that looked like it'd be a cold shut. While I was at it, I just cleaned this up to make sure I don't get cold shuts in there. It was literally less than a minute of grinding to do all that. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and I'm going to set it up on the, set the other end exactly the same way so that everything matches and then we'll work the middle out, work the ends out and turn this into something that looks like it'll cut a pizza.
looks like I'm making old-fashioned ice skates here or sled runners maybe but it's going to be a pizza cutter I promise that's pretty much what I want to start with I want to draw these tangs out a little bit further and I might be able to do that under the power hammer if not we'll have to figure out how to do it at the anvil so the next thing I want to do is I want to bend this so that I can get this into the power hammer without the rest of this being in my way straighten this out again these tangs will need a little refinement as we go but for now that's a pretty good start We'll do the same thing to the other end. I'm going to use a little angle iron jaw there that's got a nice round radius so this won't dig in quite so badly. Put a nice twist in it, but it is smaller. I think the rest of that will fix at the grinder. But we got to do the other end. It's got a little cold shut in it. I'm definitely going to have to grind out. Know if you can see that or not. Right there, there's a pretty significant cold shut. So I'm going to take that to the grinder, take care of that real quick before I go on. Yeah, okay, that looks a lot better. to draw out the blade. Now in the long run I want this to curve 
upward so it kind of cuts into the pizza as you cut it it'll rock and so we don't need to worry about back bending it we're just going to let it curve naturally and we'll draw this out edgewise into the power hammer but first i need to change the dies Now you can certainly do this all by hand, but the power hammer does make it a lot faster. But I do need to take the marks from those drawing dies out. It's not something I want to leave in here. To straighten that out, I'm going to drop that down in the hardy hole so the tang doesn't get bent. You may have to go back and forth a little bit to get exactly the profile you're after. Also work both sides of the blade as you draw this out. Otherwise it creates unequal stress in the steel and that increases the chance it'll warp when we harden and temper it. In the long run I want a fairly even rocker to this or keel or however you want to call it. I also want these to be straight up when it's equal distance here. So I'm going to make sure my tangs are straight. I'm also going to taper them out just a little bit to make it easier to get the handle on. Between heats I went ahead and put my touch mark right there in the center. Now I'm really just concerned with getting it straight. And there will be a fair amount of bench work to do on this. But I would like the tangs to be in the same plane. So they're pretty close. And I don't want any twists or serious bows in the blade. So I consider that forged. Now I'm going to bring that back up to heat one more time and let it air cool to normalize it and then it'll be ready to grind. So that needs to cool so I think we'll call it a day for this video. We'll pick it back up with grinding then hardening, tempering and hopefully do a handle all in the second video. If not the handle might be a third video. But we'll just see how things go. Then we can cut that pizza and finally have lunch. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. 
If you'd like to be notified when I make new videos, ring that bell down there next to the subscribe button. Then stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends or on social media. But as always, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe. Wear your safety glasses. We'll see you later. So I'm going to straighten it out just a little bit. If you would like to provide financial support for the videos here at Black Bear Forge, there are links down in the video description for both PayPal and Patreon. These are merely donations. The content is free and will remain free. Thank you.